We all love the candy bar scene in Caddyshack, but surprise, surprise, that's not the best way to clean up a pool that somebody has pooped in. So hey, on any given weekend at your local chlorinated pool, you're just one toddler diaper away from dangerous recreational water illnesses. These are caused by organisms such as Cryptosporidium, Giardia, and E. coli, as well as symptoms such as severe diarrhea. And I know you want to shed a few pounds at the health club, people, but look, this is not the way to do it. There are two types of fecal incident. There's a formed fecal incident, and then there's a diarrheal fecal incident. Now, I don't think these need much explanation other than a formed incident is far easier to clean up, and a diarrheal incident is going to be a far slip situation and it'll likely contain cryptosporidium. So here's a free tip. If you're suffering from diarrhea, please stay out of the pool. That's why it says so on the rules. Now, when it comes to cleaning up a fecal incident, I love Caddyshack as much as the next guy, but this isn't the best source for information on pool maintenance. Naturally, draining a large pool, scrubbing it all down, refilling it again, that's not gonna be the best option, unless we're just talking catastrophic levels of nastiness in there. I mean, just draining and refilling a large pool will typically take well over a day to say nothing of the water costs. Instead, the preferred method is to shock the pool. And no, this doesn't mean a YMCA staff staff member chunks a toaster in and listens to a billion microbial voices suddenly cry out in terror. Nope, shocking a pool, also known as superchlorination, involves cranking up chlorine levels till all the microbial nasties perish. Once they're dead, you let the chlorine levels fall back down to swimmable levels. Then everyone jumps back in the pool. I mean, you know, except for that one kid. Now, how long you shock the pool and how high the chlorine level needs to go depends entirely on the type of fecal incident. For instance, the CDC recommends a chlorine level of three parts per million for a period period of 19 minutes in the event of a formed stool incident. That kills 99.9% .9 of the Giardia. Now, if it's a diarrheal fecal incident, well, they recommend 40 parts per million for 6.5 hours. Now, despite everything we've said here, some places still do the drain and scrub measure, just like in Caddyshack. Not so much out of a need for hygienic cleanliness, it's generally about psychic cleanliness, all right? You don't want to think about your water coming into contact with nasty things, so you just get rid of all of it. But really, it's all been urine at one point or another, so it's just best to chill out and let the chlorine do its job. So what about you? Have you ever been at a pool when they had to have one of these brown evacuations and if you stuck around long enough to see what the cleanup was like what they do did they shock it or did they drain and scrub it let me know because I would love to hear all of the gross details you can leave a comment below you can leave a video response and be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you